then you confuse things. Should I just sit out or come harder? Help me find my way. Messing me up my whole head. Teasing me just like. Hello, everybody. What's up? Thrift Soldier back with another video. This is about my new wig that I got, I would say, a couple days ago. Um, it's actually a lace front wig. Her name is Yellow. Um, it's from Bobby Boss, and I'm not sure of the length, but it is in a 1B and it is synthetic. I'm just going to give you what did I do to manage it, um, the pros and cons of the wig, and do I like it in general. Um, one, yes, I do like the wig. But I don't like the wig without a hat accessory. I'm going to show you what it looks like without a hat or whatever. Because I, I always wear this wig with a hat, um, a turban, a headscarf, um, any type of hair accessory. Just for the fact that I feel like it, it looks wiggy to me. Like it doesn't look like kind of like natural. I mean, which is fine. I mean, whatever. But it looks wiggy. Like it looks kind of like a wig. Especially the lace. I do not like la this lace um, with this wig. One, it itches like hell. Two, the glue, I have what glue, you know, to kind of try to, you know, to... This is the first time buying a lace front. I wanted to see, to do get the full effect of it and buy lace front glue. Brought the glue. It broke out the front of my um, headline a little bit. Um, it's itchy, it was irritating, the mesh... Um, kind of, just, I just was very uncomfortable with it. Maybe because me wearing my natural hair for so long, I probably just didn't transition into it too well. But I didn't like the lace. I cut the lace off. Um, what you're supposed to do when you wear a lace front? Cut the lace off and I still didn't like the way it looked. Um, so I wear it just with hats, you know, it's like I said, accessories. Um, it's easy to manage. Um, it's not, it doesn't get tangly or anything. It. It feels good. I mean, I can put my hands through it. What I use to keep it, kind of, I guess, kind of more manageable, more than usual, since it is curly, kind of more volumized hair, I use wig spray. I showed this in my other video um, of my curly afro, curly afro wig video. Um, this is it. Um, it's probably the best stuff, even if you have weave, I would say. Wig spray is really good, plus it smells really, really good. And like I said in my other video... Like I said, I use a wig brush. I use it for this too, to just keep it, you know, you know, nice and cute and, you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to show you now what it looks like without a um, hat or accessory. Here, here, how it looks. I mean, sometimes I wear it with the wig cap, sometimes I don't. I mean, it depends. But whatever I'm feeling, you know, most of the time I do wear it with the wig cap. But this is, this is it. Um, it's pretty nice. I mean, I haven't had any issues with it. It's only been a couple days, but I haven't had any issues with it. But I only, I have not worn it out like this since I had it. I only wear it with a hat. I only wear it with a hat. And I love this hat. Shout out to Malcolm. Um, hit him up. Um, he has really, really dope custom made snapbacks. He has custom made snapbacks. He is dope. So check him out. And, um, but other than that, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't wear it without a hat because it looks like it looks kind of like Dream Girls to me. You know, seen Dream Girls how their wigs are wiggy and they look like wigs. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. But um, that's about it. I use wig spray and a wig brush, and that's all I use. And um, I use sometimes a little bit of oil sheen just to keep, give it that nice, nice shine. And um, I love it. I love it. Bobby Boss Yellow. Um, I'm gonna give you the the number of the the actual code number of the wig for you so you know exactly um what the number is hold up i'm sorry i'm trying to find it oh here it is this is in a 1b also um m m l f o seven yellow this is the name this is the i guess the code of the wig and it says in the packet can also be curled um but i haven't curled it yet i mean i really don't find the the, the point of curling it and also can be put heat on it in general. I don't really don't find the point of me doing that because the hair is already um, styled to how I really want it. But if it does get, if I keep combing it to the point where it gets really, really straight and I have to do that, I will. Um, I like Bobby Boss. The wigs are are, are nice. Um, one of my other friends had a Bobby Boss rip away wig and she said she hated it. 
But um, I like actually like this wig. Um, I kind of call this my Farrah Fawcett wig, and I've been getting a lot of compliments on it. I really like it, and I cannot wait to um. I like it now because it's cold outside, you know, but in the summertime, I might not rock it in the summertime just because of the fact that it's going to be hot. But, um, but I love it. I love it. Um, it's cute. It's fun. Um, I love, I like these wigs. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to be making one very soon. I'm probably going to show you, um, the process of me doing it. And also, I will be dyeing my hair too. So I'm going to be making a video of, um, me dyeing my hair because every time I say I'm going to do it, of make a tutorial of me dyeing my hair, I keep forgetting, like, when I get into the process of me doing my, of dyeing my hair, I'll be like, oh, crap, I forgot my camera. So, this this would be the perfect time for me to do it for you guys. Um, that's about it. Um, Thrift Soldier, um, follow me on Twitter at Thrift Soldier. Follow me on my Tumblr, my blog, my personal blog, thriftsoldier.tumblr.com. Follow my jewelry collection, Newbie and Evolution, support it. Um, www.nubianrevolution.com and also um, the Twitter is at Nubian Nubian and we're having a giveaway it ends on the 10th so um, enter, you can enter on the website more information on the website and I'll have more information at the bottom for you guys and that's about it bye guys, happy new year and um, thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe